up fellow craft nerds it's Liz your official craft nerd and today I have got a super cool super easy DIY video for you uh, for some fall holiday pieces and a couple of these are actually Kirkland dupes so I was really excited to get these out there for you guys I really hope you enjoy if you are new to my channel I really hope you stick around hit that subscribe button below and give me a big thumbs up on the video and if you're one of my original um, subscribers I definitely appreciate you guys coming back and checking out the channel again and uh, yeah I hope y'all enjoy okay guys so for this first one I'm just gonna take four of those wooden pumpkin decor pieces from Dollar Tree I sanded them down a little bit once I got the sticker removed um, from the back and again super cool trick use a heat gun it will heat up the sticker and take the sticker right off um, but what I'm doing is just giving them all a couple of coats of the Waverly chalk paint in white and then I'm just going to use these Dollar Tree um, stickers. These are the poster board stickers. And if you don't have a Cricut or any kind of a machine to cut the letters out, these are perfect um, to apply to your project. Um, so super easy, super affordable. Um, then what I did was just took a few strips of the ribbon from their fall uh, line that they have out right now. And I wanted to use this green and also the plaid with the gold. So I just tied them around the top of the stems and just kind of fluffed them out a bit. They are wire uh, ribbons, so they do hold their shape. Um, and that was it. I mean, this couldn't have been an easier, quicker project to do. And this right here, guys, is the final piece. Guys, so this next one is actually gonna be a Kirkland's dupe with my own twist. Um, this actual centerpiece costs about $64.99 at Kirkland's and we're going to do it for like seriously less than $10. Um, these crates you can find at Dollar Tree. Um, however, don't worry if you do not find them because a lot of stores um, don't always carry the same product. You can find these crates at Michael's and they are $0.99 cents there. Um, but you'll need six of these crates and I am just gluing them all together with hot glue. You can also use E6000 or wood glue as well, depending on um, just how much um, strength you want for this piece. But just so that it's a decor piece that's gonna sit on a table, I'm not too worried about it. The hot glue works just fine. Um, so what I'm doing, once I have all of these pieces glued together, um, you're gonna see me here putting popsicle sticks on the side. Now I use the extra large popsicle sticks. I found these at Walmart. Um, but two are the perfect length for the side of this but um, you will need to measure out and trim down the edges as well as add additional smaller pieces to the side um, and I didn't record all of the cutting and the, the measuring and all of that but um, you'll see what it looks like once it's done it's, it's just giving it that wood slate effect um, but not more like what the Kirkland's version looks like, let's put it that way. Um, and you'll see here how it just has the two slats. Um, and then once everything is glued together and we start to paint, you're not even going to notice that you had to, you know, kind of puzzle piece in the other pieces. So once this is all glued together and all the sides are covered up, I don't do the bottom, I just cover the sides. I'm going to paint this and I'm using um, the Waverly chalk paint in truffle um, and what I did with this is actually watered it down a little bit um, I wanted it not to be so thick um, but to actually give it more kind of a, of a light washed look with this color um, and I'm just doing all of the sides and then I do the tops as well and on the insides you're really not going to see much of the inside because you're going to be filling it up but um, I just wanted to make sure I had all my corners covered here just in case. Um, so I do do all the tops as well as the insides as well. Then I'm going to take three of my paint stir sticks. Um, these again, you can get these at Walmart, uh, super cheap, or you can get these also online at Amazon. Um, I'm just going to glue down three of these sticks into the center. Um, of my um, my piece here and once these are all glued down I'm also going to go ahead and paint these two I want everything to blend in together and this is just going to act as the base 
for when I put you know my decoration pieces on top of this. Now I'm just going to use one of these uh, candle holders from Dollar Tree. I didn't color it, didn't color it, didn't paint it. Um, and then I'm using three of the pumpkins that Dollar Tree also has as well because I just think they're beautiful and I want to display them. Now of course the Kirkland's version does show candle holders, which you could also put, um, you know, any kind of candles up here. Uh, you can use the hurricane lamps, um, whatever you want. But I wanted to spin it and do. Um, a version with these pumpkins. I'm taking the leaf picks from Dollar Tree as well and I've already cut the stems off so I can kind of go ahead and um, just bend them a little bit and stick them in those um, those crates all around uh, the centerpiece here and really you could do whatever you want with this. You can do it in any color variation. You can put whatever you want to display in the middle. I just think that this is the perfect uh, fall centerpiece, a decor piece, whatever you want to call um, this here, but it's just, it's beautiful and I absolutely love it and I was very excited to be able to do this. And this is the final project guys. I just, like I said, it is super cute, super fall and super affordable to do. So here's another Kirkland stoop that we're going to do. Uh, this piece actually runs for $34.99. Uh, and again, we're going to do it for quite less. Um, so I'm using the Waverly Chalk Paint and Truffle again, and also one of these Dollar Tree signs. Now this sign is uh, quite old. It come out, um, I think I've had this for uh, at least eight months now. Um, and I have a whole stash of them because I knew I would use them in the future. Uh, and so this actually worked out perfect. Um, I'm just going to give it a coat of the chalk paint here. Um, you can basically get away with just one layer. Um, there was little bits and pieces here that I did touch up, um, but it was really simple to paint because again, this is actually like canvas, so the paint took to it very, very well. So once that is dry, I am taking some of the nautical rope also from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to measure out two equal pieces. Now these are going to be the handles uh, for the side of the piece. So really simple, you're just going to hot glue them uh, to the side. And uh, this is just going to make for the little, uh, little handles. Again, it's not going to be for you to actually use to pick up. It's just for decoration. So hot glue works perfect. If you feel like you want to have something more sturdier, of course, you can always use super glue or E6000 uh, to uh, set that rope to the side um, of this piece. But for the sake of the video, hot glue worked perfect. So now I'm taking those um, initial pumpkins that Dollar Tree has out right now. Um, and I'm just going to give them a paint over. Now I did, which you don't see on here, um, off camera, I took some hot glue and kind of filled in the initials that were carved out. I thought that might kind of help when I painted it so it wouldn't be so obvious that there was a letter on there. Uh, didn't really do what I thought it would do, but that's okay because you're not going to see it. They're going to be facing the back of this piece when I put it out. Um, but I do think in the long run, if you just use some like wood filler or even some clay or something, you could fill that in very easily and nobody would notice. But, um, I, I like how I did it with this one. I just did a simple quick coat of the white, uh, Waverly chalk paint. Um, and then once each of these were, uh, completely painted, I did go ahead and sand just a little bit, just to give it some texture, um, around each of these pumpkins. What was funny was that my sandpaper that I had actually left this very light, kind of an orange streak when it sanded. So it was actually a good surprise for me. I thought it gave it just some extra dimension. So I really like that. Um, I did remove the bows off of each of these after I painted. Um, I had initially had another idea to use some more ribbon on these, but then I thought I'm just going to reuse 
these little raffia bows that are already on there. Um, so you'll see me go ahead and get those glued on uh, once I'm done painting here. So here I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue to those bows and I'm just going to place them right back on the front. And once I have that in place, then I'm just going to stick them up on the faux wood base. And you guys, I think this was probably the easiest, most affordable of all of the DIYs on here. And because um, again, for less than $5, I believe, uh, we get this really spectacular piece and it's so, so easy to do. So that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a big thumbs up and if you are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button below and I look forward to seeing you guys again here real soon. Take care.